everybody, Mike here doing a review of the Origin Gi, the 550 Comp. This is a 2011 model. It is 550 gram pro weave with the EVA foam collar. And um, the first thing I want to talk about real quick is the fit of the Gi. And um, this is a fitted Gi, and what that means is basically that it's cut under the armpits really close to the body. I mean, for me, it's like right against my armpits. So it's a pretty snug fit. You don't feel it too much when you're rolling in it, but um, um, it's a lot snugger than, say, the Moya or the Shoy Roll. Um, the other thing is that um, the coverage, you know, how much the lapels go over your belly. This gi is cut so that it almost goes from hip to hip in terms of coverage. And um, that can be cool, you know, if you're um, like that. Most gis, um, like the Corral, Shoyo Roll, Moyas, have it so that um, they just go like halfway over your belly. And um, that's the way most are cut. This one's just cut a little bit differently. It feels a little bit long, but it's not. Um, the one thing I was surprised about was the collar. I mean, sorry, the lapel. The lapel is actually pretty soft. I was going to say thin, but it's not necessarily thin, but it's it's a little bit thicker than the Gameness Pearl, which is known as like being like a really, really soft and easily manipulatable uh, lapel. This one is kind of that same way. You know, it's um, really easy to grab onto, kind of like the Vulcans. And, um, but, um, it's really comfortable to wear. You know, it doesn't feel stiff around your neck like uh, sometimes a shoulder will yank that feels that way. And um, it's got some cool embroidery. And I like that color combination. And also the embroidery is like really tight. There's no fraying or anything. It's surprisingly really done well. And then they got this little Asian style logo going on. So you can get a better look at it. And that patch is like a really good patch too. And they got a smaller version here. Inside, you got typical reinforcements. For this ski, you have reinforcement in the armpit. You don't have any tape down the lapel side, but you have tape on the bottom. Then you have a ripstop being used as a reinforcement material around the vents. And that's it. Everything else is pretty standard. Stitching's good. And it's all stitched really well. And I'll show you the back real quick. And the back has that logo, which I don't particularly like, but I don't particularly hate either. I would take that off. They've taken it off on the new batch. And let me show you the pants real quick. The pants actually are really good. They're the ribstop, but they're thicker ribstop than um, the Shoyo Yank. So they feel a lot more durable. They also have the Pro Weave Gusset, which I like. But then again, I like the, the Yanks, which don't have it either, so I just like um, liking Ripstop more and more. And the reason is, Ripstop, um, like this one here, which has the bungees and stuff, you can cinch up really tight around your hips, so it doesn't move as much. You don't get that plumber's butt good thing going on that I get when I wear my uh, Corral uh, Classic pants. Where they start like, <laughs> you know, you start wearing like low rides. Uh, one little thing that needs to be done, and I think they did it on the ne the other batch, the, the new batch, is that the knee reinforcements simply need to be longer. When I wear them, my knee is actually like up here standing, but then when I bend and you know start passing, then my knee becomes down here. So I guess it works out, but it looks a little off when you're uh, standing looking at yourself in the mirror. But really good pants, they feel really well. 
really well. They feel really good. <laughs> and the only issue too is, like uh, the guy Murkatsu said on his review of the ski, the tape is a little scratchy. And it's not the tape, it's the stitching. The stitching is like uh, kind of sharp for some reason. It sticks up. So if you go to BB, uh, BJJ Gear Junkie, Seth, that guy there, does a lot of gear reviews, and he talks about that being the case with one of the x guard kimonos, where um, the inside taping was scratchy. And I think I read somewhere, too, that Shoyo Roll had a batch, I think batch six, that had the same problem, that the stitching that held the taping was really scratchy. And that was also happening around... Uh, as you know on the shoulder rolls, they have inside taping all along here, so that was scratchy too, so it was, you know, kind of messing with people when they were wearing it. But um, overall, this is a really good gi. I love the color scheme. It's a nice design, black with white, and then you get the purple highlights. It's comfy to wear. Just for me, it's just a little bit snug. But I can still wear it no problem. It's a little bit snug under the armpits. I could use a little bit more room there. And the pants just need to be, um, the knee reinforcements just need to be extended a little bit upwards. And that scratchy tape fixed. And uh, that's a really good gi. So it's 550 grams. So it's um, not too heavy, but it's not too light. It's right in between. And it's good for, you know, comps or it's just good for everyday training. And the ripstop pants are, like, seem like they're um, thick enough to hold up to, like, everyday, you know, training. As long as you don't got, like, a 250-pound guy, you know, bullfighter passing you all, all you know, all training session. I don't think they should rip. All right, check them out. Um, OriginBJJ.com. I'm not affiliated. If they want to send me a gi to review, they can. Sorry, this is just done on a cell phone, but um, it's kind of late right now, and I just want to get this done and show you guys um, the gi, which I actually like a lot, and um, my bias is towards pro weave gis that have a kind of stiffness in the sleeves, particularly. I like those type of gis, like the old corrals, I still love, and um, I like them because when you sweat, I don't like the sleeves to cling to my arms. It's just a weird feeling. And um, I had the Shoyo Compadre and I didn't like it because for the same reason. The gold weave kind of is just too soft. It just clings, feels too clingy. So um, this is a good gi. It's a good combination of a lot of good features. Check them out. And this is the old model. I only have the new one in 2012, but um, they don't have the purple and black. So I like the purple and black, so I got this one. And I got it um, off somebody, not from the company. But um, I did have their first model, the Genesis, which was cut really well. And I don't know if I said that before, but um, the only reason I didn't keep that gi was because the skirt was just too short. And um, the sleeves were just barely legal. So um, I got rid of that one, sold that. And then when I got a chance to get one of these, I got it. And uh, so far, so good. All right, I uh, hope it helps. Sorry this is on a cell phone. Um, talk to you guys later.